Hello and welcome to the Son of Dalitha Meyer channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the 501st Battle Pack, formerly known as the 501st Legion Clone Troopers. This is right for seven and up. Num set number 75280 with 285 pieces. At the front of the box, you can see some very pretty box art I'd like to point out. You can see that it comes with four minifigures and two battle droids. I don't really think that battle droids are like minifigures, but you can decide that yourself, I guess. Very pretty box art at the top right of the Ahsoka's clone right there. And then you can just see a battle with the two builds, ATRT and a bark speeder, and the minifigures bottom out. On the top of the box, you can see the uh, jet, the Father's Jet Trooper. Very cool, exclusive set. We'll take a look at him in the minifigure section. You can see some boxes with a couple outlines of what you can do. So there with the stud shooters and then the movability on the ATRT. It says play it in the Skywalker Saga. Game is still not out yet, and this set has been out for a year. Don't know when that's gonna happen. <laughs> you can see a clone kind of backing down a battle droid, and then the rest of them just straight about and their vehicles and some on the ground. Okay, take a look at the mini. Let's start out with the simple file first trooper. He has a new helmet print, torso print, and leg print. None of those are exclusive, except for the helmet print. You can see some very pretty back printing. And then he has a little blaster there. Very nice. You can see very pretty helmet. And then under the helmet, there is a new face print, which is once again new, but not exclusive. You can see that. And, you get, you get three of these figures in the set. And now we have the very simple battle droid. This is a not very desirable figure because he's very common, but it's still cool to get a couple of these so you can build your army. He has a nice blaster there. Once again, a special head mold, special torso mold, leg mold. And once again, you get two of these in the Lego set. So if you're buying a lot of them, not only are you building your file first army, but you are also building your droid army. So that's a fun little bonus for $30. And finally, probably the most desirable figure of the set is the file first jet trooper. So he has a very fun blaster there that is made from two pieces, a candle piece at the end. So that's fun part usage. You can see that he has a exclusive helmet print and exclusive torso print. The legs are the same as the file first trooper. Well, this guy is a very cool extra. You can see it has a jet pack in blue there. So very cool. You can see this and you can see spectacular printing on the helmet there. And yes, this is an exclusive figure. Never been made in Lego before. So it's a really fun addition once again that you can get a lot of these guys in build. So we'll start out with, in my opinion, the least desirable build, the Bark Speeder. This is still a very good build. So you can see a very nice shaping to it. Fairly simple to make, but I mean, all the curvature on it is very nice. You can see a sticker up front right there. And then the probably hardest part to put this on is this piece. Oh, this piece right here. So you can see there's one sticker, two sticker, three sticker on the same piece. So that's kind of interesting, but I, it turns out looking nice. As you can see, it gives a lot of nice color to it. You can see that it has a couple blasters on the side, which is very nice. And then we can move over to the control handle, which is very fancy. I really like the control handle. I think it's just unique. You can see how you can move that. And you can, attach as you can see, you can put a minifigure in there and he will fit very nicely. The handles are a bit weird of how you're supposed to attach them, but you can see that that works fine with him. Very nice. Move up to the front. We have a couple of stud shooters there. We also have a nice piece, uh, very nice piece of gray there. So that's adds a lot of nice curvature at the end of it. Once again, we have a sticker there. And then a Nexo Knight um, shield piece in blue there. So that adds a lot of fun stuff. Then some kind of ski-like pieces on the sides there. Same up here. And then nothing much in the back. So pretty simple build, but I really like it. It's a very fun build. And we haven't gotten a bike speeder in a while, so in a while, so it's fun to get a nice one in the battle pack. Next up is probably my favorite build of the set is the ATRG. So this is a very nice build in my opinion. So the building methods they use are really good. Um, a lot of people complain how it's not minifigure scale, but I don't really care about that. I think like they made it bigger, so it feels more worth it. They can put more details in it, and I think that's perfectly fine. You can see a nice control panel there that is printed, a um, handlebar, so we will put a minifigure on there in a second. Um, but up front, then you can see a lot of nice details, some stickers. So that's three stickers and then two on the side there. 
So five to stickers in total, just on that one area. So that's kind of a, that's a lot of stickers. There are a lot of stickers in this set, if you haven't gone on yet. You can see that there are a couple of stickers on the inside of the legs. So that's a fun little addition. You can see how those legs are made. You make both legs, or you make one leg and then the other leg, and then both feet are the same build. If you wonder, the legs are not the same build because they're inverse, obviously. Uh, it has a little kind of toe thing there that can move if you'd like it to, but I mean, it's really supposed to be straight down. Some pretty fun um, kind of dish pieces on the side there. Add a lot of nice detail. You can see there's a clip on the back so you can put the uh, binoculars there and a rifle if you'd like to. Or a blaster. And then well, let's put a minifigure in here. As you can see, he fits on there very nicely with the little control panel there. And it is nice because he can, you can see how a kid, like, he's looking over, you can see it, but he's also looking at the control panel. Very nice addition, attention to detail there. This is just a very fun build. Like, if I was seven or nine, I would absolutely love this build. Like, you can see there's a stud shooter on the front. I think that's the, like, worst part of this build. It's just, it's just kind of plunked on there. It is on a ball joint, so you can move it around quite a bit, but, you know, it's just kind of, it doesn't look very nice. A lot of people would have liked if they had a bit more there for the blaster itself, but can't get it all. Can't win it all. So, um, that's about it for the builds. Let's take a look at the final verdict. Overall, I think this is a really great set as a battle pack and just as a standalone set. You get four great minifigures, three Final First Troopers, and a Final First Jet Trooper, two battle droids, two really fun builds for $30. I think you should, if you don't have one already, I think you should definitely get, get one. So I'm going to rate this a solid 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my first ever video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, maybe subscribe. Okay, see you later.